Vienna, the Austrian capital, is not only famous for its rich cultural heritage and stunning architecture, but also for its highly efficient public transportation system. Among the many components that make this system exceptional is the Vienna S-Bahn, a suburban railway network that seamlessly connects the city center with its outskirts and neighboring regions. Known for its reliability, frequency and integration with other modes of transport, the S-Bahn is a backbone of daily commuting for thousands of residents and visitors alike. Welcome to Railways Explained. If you're passionate about learning more about railway systems worldwide, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. For exclusive content and to support our work, consider joining our Patreon community or becoming a channel member. Your support makes all the difference. Now, let's get back to the video and explore why the Vienna S-Bahn is so impressive. The story of Vienna's S-Bahn begins with the Wiener Stadtbahn, which operated from 1898 to 1925 under the Imperial Royal Austrian State Railways. This early rail system served as a precursor to the modern S-Bahn, running full-line operations that included local traffic. However, its reliance on steam locomotives and its role in military and long-distance transport planning limited its effectiveness and popularity, and the Wiener Stadtbahn ceased operations in 1918. In 1925, the Vienna city administration electrified and reopened the Stadtbahn, rebranding it as the Wiener Elektrische Stadtbahn. It was integrated with the tram network, creating a more efficient urban transit system. Despite this progress, pre-World War II proposals to improve Vienna's rail network often mixed the lines between metro and mainline railways, leading to ambitious plans that were never fully realized. During the Nazi regime, after 1938, an extensive U-Bahn and S-Bahn network was planned, but halted by the outbreak of World War II. Post-war, new ideas emerged, including Ottmar Denk's 1947 proposal, which heavily influenced future developments. By 1954, planning began for a dedicated S-Bahn network as part of Austria's post-war reconstruction efforts, with concrete plans finalized in 1955 and funding secured by 1958. The Vienna S-Bahn officially launched on January 17, 1962, with immediate success. Overcrowding led to the introduction of double train sets, and agreements allowed passengers to transfer seamlessly between transport modes during disruptions. Technological advancements like train handling monitors further improved operations. In 1984, the S-Bahn became part of the Verkehrsverbund Ost region, integrating it into a larger fare network covering Vienna, Lower Austria and Burgenland. While the term Schnellbahn was commonly used for decades, S-Bahn began to take precedence in official announcements and timetables, starting in 2005, cementing its identity as a vital part of Vienna's transportation system. Unlike many S-Bahn networks in Germany, the Vienna S-Bahn is not a separate rail network. It is integrated with and part of the national railway system. As such, S-Bahn trains share tracks with intercity trains, which travel further than the S-Bahn, some regional lines crossing into neighboring countries and other rail traffic, including freight trains. The S-Bahn system is electrified with a 15 kV 16.7 Hz AC system, uses a standard gauge of 1435 mm, and operates 10 lines covering Vienna, and extending into neighboring regions. With a total length of 650 km, it serves around 300,000 passengers daily and operates 890 trains per day. The Stammstrecke is the heart of the network and its busiest section, with multiple lines sharing its tracks. It acts as the backbone of the system, providing seamless connections between different parts of the city, and vital links for transfers to the U-Bahn, trams and buses. The modernization of the Stammstrecke began in 2023 and is scheduled to continue until 2027. 
This extensive project includes significant upgrades with the implementation of ETCS Level 2 signaling system. This central corridor spans 13.3 km from Floridsdorf in the north to Wien Meidling in the south, passing through key stations such as Praterstern, Wien Mitte, Renwig and Wien Hauptbahnhof. The S1 line runs from Vienna Meidling to Genserndorf, extending to Marcheg, with trains operating every 30 minutes and passing through important stations like Vienna Hauptbahnhof and Floridsdorf. The S2 line connects Modling to Mistelbach, with some services extending to La an der Taya, passing through Vienna Renweg, Floridsdorf and Volkersdorf, with trains running every 30 to 60 minutes. The S3 line operates between Wiener Neustadt Hauptbahnhof and Hollabrunn, passing through Lobersdorf, Modling, Floridsdorf and Stockerau, with frequencies of 30 to 60 minutes. The S4 line links Wiener Neustadt Hauptbahnhof to Absdorf Hippersdorf, extending to Tulnerfeld, stopping at stations like Lobersdorf, Floridsdorf and Stockerau, with trains operating every 30 to 120 minutes. The S7 line, known as the Airport Line, connects Wolfstall to Vienna Floridsdorf, with stops at Vienna Airport, Vienna Renweg and Vienna Hauptbahnhof, and trains running every 30 minutes. The S40 line runs from Vienna Franz Josefs Bahnhof to St. Polten Hauptbahnhof, stopping at stations like Tulenstadt with a frequency of 30 to 60 minutes. The S45 line, also called the Vorortelini, operates between Vienna Handelskai and Vienna Hütteldorf, with stops and trains running every 10, 15 or 30 minutes. The S50 line connects Vienna Westbahnhof to Eichgraben Altlangbach, passing through Unterpurkersdorf with trains operating every 15 to 30 minutes. The S60 line links Bruck an der Leiter to Wiener Neustadt Central Station, passing through Vienna Hauptbahnhof and Devonforth with frequencies of 30 to 60 minutes. The S80 line runs from Vienna Asper Nord to Vienna Hütteldorf stopping at key stations like Vienna Hauptbahnhof, with trains operating every 30 minutes. While most lines operate at intervals of 30 to 60 minutes, the combined schedules along the Stammstrecke ensure train frequencies of just a few minutes during peak times. This efficient and extensive network makes the S-Bahn a vital part of Vienna's public transportation system, connecting the city and its surrounding regions. Looking further ahead, the city of Vienna has announced ambitious plans to create an S-Bahn ring by 2032, combining two existing services and repurposing a freight-only line for passenger use. The proposed orbital service would merge the current S-80 and S-45 lines with S-45 trains extended from Handelskai to Praterkai. Interchange points between S-45 and S-80 would be established at Hütteldorf and Praterkai, with four trains per hour in each direction. The extension of the S45 from Handelskai to Praterkai would utilize the existing freight-only alignment running parallel to the river Danube. This will require substantial upgrades to accommodate frequent passenger services, along with the development of alternative routes for freight traffic. Two new stations, Reichsbrücke and Dona Marina, are planned as part of this extension. The city of Vienna and Austrian railways conducted a feasibility study and this option was assessed as economically justified. A single-line option was also examined but deemed less viable. The extension of the S45 is currently under consideration for inclusion in OBB's Zilnet's 2040 plan. However, the implementation of the orbital route is expected to begin only after 2032 to avoid conflicts with other improvement projects planned for Vienna's S-Bahn network. These planned improvements include upgrading the cross-city S-Bahn core connecting Floridsdorf with Meidling, the foretracking of the meidling mudling corridor and significant work on the hütteldorf meidling route. The latter will involve double tracking between Hütteldorf and Penzing, reconstructing Hütteldorf station and adding a new station at Baumgarten. 
Together, these interventions will enhance the robustness of the planned ring service, providing a more reliable and efficient network for passengers. One of the Vienna S-Bahn's greatest strengths is its integration with the broader public transportation network. Major hubs like Wien Hauptbahnhof, Prater Stern and Wien Mitte offer connections to U-Bahn metro lines, trams, regional and international trains and bus services. This interconnectedness makes it easy for passengers to switch modes of transport, whether they're heading to the airport, commuting to work, or exploring Vienna's many attractions. The S-Bahn is also designed to be accessible to everyone. Stations and trains are equipped with features like elevators, ramps, and designated spaces for wheelchairs, making the system inclusive and user-friendly. Using the Vienna S-Bahn is simple and convenient, thanks to the city's integrated ticketing system. A single ticket allows passengers to access the S-Bahn, U-Bahn, trams and buses within Vienna. For those traveling to nearby regions, regional tickets and passes are also available. In May 2012, local authorities reduced the cost of an annual ticket for the city of Vienna to just 365 euros for the public, equivalent to 1 euro per day. This initiative has contributed to more than half of Vienna's residents owning an annual pass, which can also be purchased in installments, providing a significant annual budget for maintaining the system. The current rolling stock of the Vienna S-Bahn network includes several key models. OBB Class 4020 are electric multiple units that have been in service for decades. They were a significant upgrade to the S-Bahn fleet in the late 20th century and continue to be a mainstay in the network. Known for their reliability and durability, they remain in use today despite their age. OBB commuter double-deck cars are used in combination with powerful locomotives like Class 1116 or Class 1144. They provide additional capacity for high-demand lines, particularly on routes with longer distances or more passengers. These are another type of electric multiple units that have been part of the S-Bahn fleet since 2004. OBB Class 4024 are designed for modern high-speed suburban services and are more energy efficient compared to earlier models. OBB Class 4744 City Jet is a newer generation of EMUs introduced in 2015. They are part of OBB's push towards modernizing their fleet and improving passenger comfort on commuter lines. According to the city's statistics, 3 out of 10 people in Vienna use public transport, while more than a third of the city's residents commute by walking. In contrast, only a quarter rely on cars for their daily travel needs. A recent survey revealed a 91% satisfaction rate with public transport in Vienna, placing the city at the top among 83 European cities. It is no surprise, then, that the Austrian capital is often voted the most livable city in the world. Public transport plays a crucial role in this recognition, contributing significantly to the city's outstanding mobility and quality of life. That's all about the Vienna S-Bahn and its vital role in connecting the city and surrounding regions. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with Railways Explained. For exclusive content, consider joining our Patreon community or becoming a channel member. Your support helps us create more engaging content. And if you're interested in railway-themed merchandise, don't forget to check out our store. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.